I just want to show you a few quirks of the menu widget that a few students have encountered before. Uh, that way you're going to avoid some of the problems that can happen. So one of the issues is I've gone in, let's double click on our master, double click on a dynamic panel. I've added our final page, I've resized it, made it wider so that it is pretty much the size that I will want it on a computer screen. Um, however, when I've resized it, you see that my submenu remains uh, the original size. I'm just going to zoom into this now. And you'll also notice if I select it, I don't have the option of resizing it. It doesn't have the handles there. So how do I resize these? Uh, there's a simple trick to that and it goes into the inspector pane. So you can see we actually have the width and height over here. If I have a look at my um, parent menu item, that is 266 pixels wide. All I need to do is select both of these, and I've done that holding the shift key and clicking on both, and we'll just change that to 266, and that makes it the correct width for what we need. Another thing that a few people have noticed is, um, I'll close out of this, our menu is currently in a dynamic panel. Um, I've taken the, the back fill off that. We did have a fill and I'll show you why in a minute. But sometimes people will place it and it will be, okay, you know, towards the bottom of the dynamic panel. Then when they go to preview it, they notice, oh, hang on a second, I'm not seeing my whole drop down menu. And that is because it lives in the dynamic panel. It kind of acts as its own little microcosm, its own little page, um, and it crops it off. It doesn't show any of the overflow. Um, and so if you want the drop down menu to appear, you actually need to make the dynamic panel longer uh, or taller. There we go. So now you can see it. So if it's chopping it off, it's because the dynamic panel is chopping it off. Another thing that a few people have encountered is, okay, if you want your uh, menu to be 100% of the width of the page, how do you go about that? The answer is really you can't. Um, Menus, menu widgets don't have the option of 100% width, only dynamic panels have that. And there's your clue of how to solve it. What you do is you actually go and get a dynamic panel and you pop it behind your um, menu, making sure it's the same height or a little bit bigger if you want it a bit bigger. And you give it the background colour of the same colour as your menu and you make it 100% of the width. Now the only thing you need to ensure after that, if you go to outline, um, if I name this uh, menu background, you see how it's on top of my header? I need to drag that in my outline pane and it is now sitting below the header and if I preview that, there we go. I would take away the white outline, of course, to make that look a little bit better. Okay, so what is the remaining quirk I want to show you? There I'm going to go to the index and you notice I've um, added my adaptive views back in. So I've got my computer and my mobile view. Um, and if I go to the mobile view, you see how it's chopped it off and I can't resize it because this is a master item and in fact here I've got another menu that uh, I'll just get rid of that. Um, what I will do is I'll go back to the computer view, let's add a menu and make it the width that we want or the full width of the page, doesn't really matter. Um, and now if we go to mobile you might think oh I'll just resize that like we did with images but then um, okay, whoops, I had effect all views on. So go back to computer, it's shrunk again. Let's make it wider, mobile. You see how it's not resizing, it's uh, constantly staying the same size. And that's because it won't change for adaptive views. What you need to do is if we're in the mobile view there, that's fine, but our computer view, we actually need to right click on that item and unplace it from the view. Then we add one that is custom made for this view and that is placed and because we didn't have effect all views when we go to mobile um, all we need to do, let's see, 
all like that. So we need to unplace that from the view. We're in the mobile view. Let's get the other one. I think that was this one. Place in view. There we go. And so now when we swap between the views, we can see it's placing one and unplacing the other. And you can do that with your master element for the header as well. You need to actually create a new header for mobile view. That's not a bad thing because you usually want it to look different for a mobile device and uh, not be as obtrusive, so uh, not take up as much of the space, especially if it's going to be a sticky header and often the navigation you want to have collapsible mobile navigation instead. So that's what I wanted to show you, the little hidden quirks of the menus where you need to place different menus for different adaptive views and you need to change the pixel width of any sub menus and how to add a dynamic panel behind it so that it is 100% wide.